Hi, my name is Nikki with dynamic-crm.com and I'm happy to show you one of our videos titled Show or Hide Based on Choice Field. This is one of many tutorials included on our site for our product called the Script Generator. In addition to learning how to run multiple scripts in the Script Generator, our site also provides video how-to blogs that give instructions for how to make various customizations in Microsoft Dynamic CRM. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one example of how you can apply the show or hide based on choice field script so that you can see um, how to run it once you use the script generator. Um, in this example, we're going to use the contact form. We're going to apply our script to the contact form. And we're going to apply it under the administration tab. And the two fields we're going to apply it to are the credit limit and the credit hold fields. Um, what we want to do is, in this script, we'll make it so that when you click yes, that the customer is on a credit hold, <clears throat> then this credit limit field will be hidden. And if you click no, then um, it'll show because obviously you'll need to see what their credit limit is. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and let's pull up our scripts generator that we are already logged into. We're going to select the show or hide based on choice field script and we're going to hit continue. Um, the definition for this script is over here to the right so that you can quickly reference that. And now what it's doing is it's loading the entity form. Now we'll want to select the target form. Well, we already said that we want to apply it to the contact form. So we select the contact form. And right now it's determining the available form values associated with that form. So once it loads these, um, these areas over here will populate. And what we want to select first is the, let's see, the credit hold. And this is the field that determines whether or not we're going to show our credit limit field. So we hit continue since we've selected our fields. And this, um, what you want to do is you want to check this credit hold box. Um, so it means if this field equals true or yes, then we want to hide the credit limit field. So we're going to check it, yes, and hit select. And now it is preparing the script. Once it's finished applying the script to your CRM, um, a pop-up box will notify you that the customization has been added and the entity has been published. And once it is done saving your script, then let's see, it will load the script. And it should almost be completed. And then we can go ahead and show you um, how this script has been applied to CRM. And I'll just take a moment. Again, over here on the left, you can see all of the scripts that are included in the script generator. And depending on which one you click, again, it will show you the definition for each field. Okay, so here we go. The customization has been added and the contact entity has been published. We hit OK. We minimize our script generator. Now we want to make sure we close out of any old forms um, so that we can refresh our system. We're going to go to New Record and Contact. Click on Administration. And now once we select Yes, Credit Hold, as you can see that credit limit field um, goes away and vice versa when you click on no um, now you can actually see um, what the actual credit limit is so thank you for your time in watching this video please be sure to visit our website at dynamic-crm.com to learn about all the 20 scripts included in the script generator product um, you can see tutorials for each script in video format or screenshots um, and they're located over here depending on the product. You can take a product tour of the script generator if you want to see all of the functionality included in it. Um, and additionally, you can visit our blog 
to find instructions on how to make various customizations in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. If you have a question um, for a customization that you'd like to do um, and we don't have the answer, please fill out our Contact Us form on our site. You can select uh, Block Suggestion, fill that form out, it'll be sent to us, and we shall do our best to find the answer and post it in our blog. Thank you so much for your time.